Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to use CF Hothead, HodEd, the tool for creating HOD files for Homeworld 2. Uh, in preparation, I have made this simple ship. Just real simple thing so that we can see how everything works. I've made it in Wings 3D. And so the first thing we're going to have to do is export this as an obj file and simple.obj great uh, I also made a simple texture for it which is just there to make it easy to see that there is a texture and not just the plain default colors so that's all we need to do in wings Now, I've already prepared HotEd a little bit here, but it's overall a blank file. First thing we're going to have to do is add the textures. Now, setting up textures properly for use in Homeworld 2 is another matter, but you simply hit Add to add a blank texture, and then you have to import the file like so. Um, I've already exported the textures for use. You can also use preview to make sure that you imported the one you think you did. And I did. I didn't realize that was so big. Doesn't matter. <laughs> 2048. Alright. Once you have the textures imported, you have to create a material to use them. So you have to add a material, and then you'll want to rename it something useful. Simple material. And you can pick what shader this material is going to use. Default usually works. I believe it defaults to the ship shader, so we'll just set it to use ship anyway. Once you have a material made, you have to add parameters to it, which are where it gets pointed at textures. Uh, for the ship shader, we need two parameters. They will both be type texture, so five. The first one will be named dollar sign diffuse, and the second one will be named dollar sign glow. As before, setting up textures and shaders properly was something that would be is outside of the scope of this tutorial. But this is how you set them up in HotEd. Alright, our material is now set up. You just select the parameters and choose from the drop-down the, the texture file that they should use. And one texture file can be used in as many parameters as you want, though generally you'll need one texture for each material parameter. Now, we get to the meat of the matter, adding the mesh. So you hit add, like before, in both of these, and that puts you gives you a blank mesh. We'll call it simple mesh. Now, this mesh is still empty. You have to add levels of detail. Homeworld 2 scales between multiple levels of detail based on distance, and you can add pretty much as many as you want, but, er, uh, wrong button, let's just have one for now. For most ships, adding only one level of detail will mean that it will disappear when you zoom out far enough, but for this, we don't really care. You can just add more, well, we'll have two, but they'll both be the same. So once you have one, a level of detail on a mesh, you select it and hit replace, and then just select your model file. Also of note are these three checkboxes, weld vertices, reverse UVs, and calculate normals. Uh, in some cases these are necessary. I leave weld vertices on, though if you've cleaned up your mesh properly I don't think it makes any difference. When importing from Wings 3D you want reverse UVs and calculate normals off. In 
if you're going from other model program modeling programs that may be different so we'll replace again so that we have it imported properly and do the same for the second level of detail now let's just pop over to the hierarchy for the moment this is completely empty for now but it has the position button and the position button lets us look at our model. Let me see if I remember the keys here. All right. That looks like our model. Uh, going back here for the moment, if you have multiple materials, the reassign materials button is necessary and will give you one of these windows for each material on your mesh and let you choose what HOD material you want to use for that one. We only have one material, so it's a fairly simple choice. Um, the other thing to, two other things to look at here is the parent name, which is what item on the hierarchy the mesh in question is attached to. At the moment we just have root, so it's not a big deal. And Goblin is a goblin. Uh, goblins are small detail meshes that basically act as a level of detail zero above level of detail one. Um, if you check this, the game will treat it as a goblin. You can't make a, a mesh a goblin if it has multiple levels of detail. Uh, one last thing our ship needs, and for this we'll pop back to wings a moment. Uh, we need a gun. I'm going to replace the ion cannon frigate with this ship for the final portion of this tutorial to show you that this all works. And we do that in the hierarchy. So we'll add a template, because that's easy enough. And it'll just be a regular weapon. And we'll call it main gun. And that adds a whole bunch of things to the hierarchy that tell the game that we have a weapon, its name is main gun, and this is where it is, and which direction it's pointing. Um, you can, in fact, even parent geometry to these things, and this is also how turrets and so forth work. The game knows how to animate turrets, and it handles that automatically when set up properly, but that's a time for or something for a different tutorial. Now we need to place our main gun in the right place so I'll just pop right over to Wings 3D and I already have the center of this little cavity selected and up here it shows us the coordinates so I'll just minus 3, minus 3 uh, 36.8, and now you can see, since my HUD actually displays it, not all versions of or setups will actually show the cursor, but mine does, thankfully. So you can see that this hard point is now placed right here. I think we can turn on other ones in the, yeah. So let's intersect the camera here. We have the direction hard point and the rest hard point. These aren't particularly important for uh, this type of ship or this type of gun, but they are important for turrets. But turrets are again a different matter. So our gun is there and our HUD is set up. So we just save it and we're done. And that's it. I hope it was useful. And there we go, as you can see, our lovely little simple ship works just fine and dandy. And there you go, that's how to use CF Hot Ed, in a nutshell. That will at least get you started with the basics.